somebody texted me some passages from this book months ago, and I was appalled. I was like, oh my gosh. But then when I read it, which we all read the books, I just would like to clarify that because a lot of people are like, you're just taking the opinion of our community members, which is absolutely untrue. In context, this book to me, the most profane parts and sexually explicit parts, when in context were one boy ribbing another boy and saying, you know, he said he goes into gross mode to try to gross his buddy out. If we're going to start removing books just when we're just talking about sex acts and sex acts aren't actually occurring, I feel like I have to personally draw a line somewhere. A school board trustee at the Lake Travis Independent School District in Texas flipped the script on parents calling for the removal of Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl, released in 2012 and later made into a movie in 2015. Removal advocates claim that the book is not appropriate for children. Take a listen. I'm not a book banner or a book burner, and I'm definitely not here to waste the precious time of our librarians, administrators, or trustees. I'm a concerned parent that is deeply invested in this community and who cares about all kids. My kids, your kids, my neighbor's kids, all the kids that were here tonight. This list goes on and on. What I've learned in the last two years is that the majority of parents in our district do not know what is on LTISD library shelves. And once they stumble upon something inappropriate that their child inadvertently brings home, there is a period of shock and disbelief, and then a period of discouragement as they realize the lengthy process at hand to have a single title evaluated and addressed. The two books we are addressing tonight have unfortunately fallen through the cracks of current policy and have been in limbo for 10 months and are officially in violation of Texas state law. The first is Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. The book contains sexually explicit, obscene, and derogatory language. It contains 341 profane words. It also contains oral sex, masturbation, and sexual stimulation and arousal, which are all in violation of the Texas Penal Code and House Bill 900. The content was so inappropriate that it was stopped from being read aloud at a 2023 board meeting. With no educational or literary value, it is not appropriate for a school district to make this book available to children. Per Texas state law, it is also illegal. Board member Aaron Archer actually read the full book and claimed that the quote profane content she's previously heard was taken completely out of context. Reading the book in full changed her perspective. I would like to say that fear, I think, is driving this issue in our community on both sides. Um, fear that we have turned into book banners and we're going to be removing all kinds of stuff from the library without consent and transparency and fear that our dedicated staff are groomers and other things that I'd rather not reiterate because I don't believe them. Um, this issue, in my opinion, in my opinion alone, has taken on the size and weight of something that I feel like is not proportional to what it, to the importance that it plays in student outcomes. Um, and that hurts my heart because I know there are a lot of people losing sleep over this and we can't win in this situation at all. Um, so I have spent countless hours um, thinking about this and where I fall on this. And I will tell you, I know that the onus lies with us. It's in our policy and we take it seriously. And all we can do is vote our conscience. And so I'm going to tell you all that's what I'm doing tonight. And as far as this first book, I think it is a slippery slope to remove books that at the high school level, and that's all that we're talking about right now, are profane. And in my opinion, this book is mostly profane. That's the thing for me. I don't find it to be, yes, there is sexual language. I don't agree with it. It wouldn't be something, I, I did find it a bit personally offensive, but to me, sexually explicit means there's actual sexual acts. And in this book, there's, in context, if you read the stuff out of context, it is horrible. Somebody texted me some passages from this book months ago and I was appalled. I was like, oh my gosh. If we're gonna start removing books just when we're just talking about sex acts and sex acts aren't actually occurring, I feel like I have to personally draw a line somewhere. So for me, although profane, I would suggest every parent who is offended by this book to 
email the librarian and ask their child not have access to it. Um, and I also am a big fan of an opt-in to a higher level book process. And I think that I'm hopeful that we will continue to um, discuss that. But at some point for me, I think it is a removing a book from our library needs to be an extreme, an ex more extreme case for me than this book offers. So that's just my personal opinion. Um, I know people are going to disagree with me and I'm aware, but that's where I stand on that.